Welcome everyone to a Khan Academy tutorial. Today we are going to be doing systems of equations with graphing. So we have two equations here that we are given. They are both in standard form. That means X and Y are on the same side of the equal sign and there's no fraction coefficients. Now, what do we do with systems of equations? What do we do with standard form? I will explain. The first thing is system of equations is just two or more equations, which we have one, two. A solution means we're finding the intersection where they cross. Okay, the solution means the set of X and Y values that make both equations in the system true. So if we can find where they intersect, we find where they are both true. So that's kind of systems of equations. Now let's move on to graphing in standard form. A lot of my students like to convert it into slope intercept form first and then go from there. Well, in my opinion, it's much easier to graph it in uh, finding the X and Y intercepts of standard form first and then moving on. So how do you do that? Well, for the green line, we're going to make that top one the green one. We need to find the X intercept and the Y intercept. Now, how do you find the X intercept? The X intercept is the value of X where Y equals zero. So Y equals zero for the X intercept. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in zero for Y and we're going to see what happens with our equation. So let's go ahead and move, do that in green. We're going to have negative 7x minus 2. And instead of multiplying by y, we are going to multiply it by 0. And that equals 14. Negative 7x and then minus 2 times 0, that's just 0. So it goes away. The whole point was to get rid of that because we just want to find the x-intercept. And we get equals 14. We're going to divide by negative 7, divide by negative 7 and we get x equals negative 2. So we have our uh, x-intercept, excuse me, for the green line, which is negative 2. All right, now for the green line still, we're still working on green. We want to find the x -inter or y-intercept. For the y-intercept, we know that we can plug in 0 for x and we get our y-intercept. So that's the second thing we're going to do is we're going to say x equals 0 and we're going to plug that in for x and we're going to do the same thing. I'll do it again on the left. So we have negative 7. And this time we're multiplying by 0. Minus 2y equals 14. So we get negative 2y because guess what? This guy cancels away. He just becomes 0. So we don't even have to worry about him anymore. Negative 2y equals 14. Divided by negative 2. Divided by negative 2. We get y equals negative 7. So now we have our x-intercept and we have our y-intercept. So we're going to start with our x-intercept for... I guess we'll, I should have made it blue and pink. I don't know why I didn't do that. So our uh, x-intercept was negative 2. Our y-intercept was negative 7. So that's what our blue slash green line looks like. Okay, so we, have, we just need to graph the intercepts. You just need two points to make a line. The easiest points to find are the x and y-intercept. All right, now we're working on the next one, which in this case is we're going to make it the pink line. So this line right here, okay? So we have the x and y intercept we're still trying to find. Again, we know y equals 0, x equals 0. So we're going to plug in y equals 0 for the x intercept first. So we're going to rewrite this equation. We get 6x plus 6 times, and we're going to leave a blank there because we're going to substitute 0 for y. So now we have 6x equals 18, x equals 3. So we get our 3 for the x-intercept. Now, the easiest thing to do when you're dealing with x and y-intercept, if you're looking for the x-intercept, you just want the x showing. So one thing you can do is you can just be like, okay, I know my equation to find the x-intercept is just going to be 6x equals 18. Because you're substituting 0 for y anyway, so it disappears. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do uh, for the uh, y-intercept. As I know, I'm going to plug in add x equals 0, 0 in for x. So I can essentially just cross it off. And now I'm just left with 6y equals 18. Well, that is a much easier problem to, to do. So we get y equals 3. We get y equals 3 for the y-intercept, and x-intercept is also 3. So just covering it up with your finger or hand is another way to think about it. We're just going to cover it up, simplify the equation, and then it's much easier. So for the pink equation, we got 3 and 3. So 3 and 3. Now, we're not done. The whole point was to find the point of intersection. So the point of intersection is where they cross, and you can see they cross right there, the pink and blue cross right there. Where's that point? Negative 4, comma, 7. So negative 4, comma, 7. So I'm going to speed this up for the next one. 
just so you can see that it's, oh, in this case we have slope intercept form. For slope intercept form, and again, if you need instruction on standard form graphing or slope intercept form, I have plenty of videos on that. You can check those out, but I'm just gonna go quick. So let's make the top one blue. For the top one, we're gonna start with our y-intercept of negative three because of that negative three there. And then our slope is negative four, which means we're gonna go down one into the right three. So we're gonna go down four into the right one. Not sure what I said, but that's what you do. And then that's it. Now for the blue one, we're gonna start at y-intercept of one and we're gonna go down two to the right one, and we're gonna see where they intersect. It looks like negative two comma five. Negative two comma five. Next question. All right, another standard form one. So guess what we're gonna handle? We're gonna do the y and uh, the x and y intercepts. So let's make this the blue line. For the y intercept, I'm just gonna cover up the x. So then I'm gonna divide by seven, divide by seven, and I get y equals six. That's my y intercept. Okay, so guess what? I wanna find my x-intercept now. So I'm just going to cover up my x, or, or sorry, I'm finding the x-intercept, so I cover up my y. So then I have divide by 21, divide by 21, I get x equals two. So x equals two and y equals six. So standard form really isn't that bad, am I right? It's, it's not as bad as it seems. I know I did a lot of work. I hope most people stuck around for this video, but this is a really simple way to graph Standard form, so x equals two, y equals six. Okay, and we're done with the blue one. Now let's move on to the next one, which is the pink line. Okay, y-intercept, cover up the x. We get five y, divide by five, divide by five, y equals two. So you get y equals two. I'm just gonna do this one in pink. And then we have our x-intercept, so we just cover up the y, so we can find our x. Oops, not the 10. I don't know why I did that. Divide by negative five, divided by negative five, we get x equals negative two. So we have negative two and positive two. So negative two for the x, positive two for the y. Where do they intersect? The point is one, three. Okay, so if you look here, just to clarify, that's where they intersect, so that is the solution. One and two, the pairing of one and two for x and y, allow this to be, uh, True for both equations, we're gonna check it. I must have messed up somewhere, what I do? X equals negative two. Oh, gotta get my graph going. Negative two, positive two. Oh, I think it was one, three, wasn't it? I think I missed, I missed set it. Six and then two. Yep, one, three. I don't know why it said one, two. Please don't knock me for that. There we go. Okay. Uh, estimate the solution to the system. You can use the interactive graph below to find the solution. Okay, so we have negative two x minus five. So negative five, and we're gonna go down two to the right one, or we can go in reverse, which is up two into the left one. Very important to be able to go both ways. I'm not sure what's going on with this guy. Up two to the left one. Okay, so that looks like that. Negative two over one with the y-intercept negative five. Then we have negative two, with our uh, y-intercept and up to over one, up to over one, looks like that. So it's a little, it's in a different spot. Take a look at where it is. It's a fraction. So it looks like it's not all the way to negative one. So it looks like negative three over four for the x. And for the y, oops, and for the y, it looks like it is a little past three. So maybe three and a half. So I think we found our answer. It looks like C is our answer there. So just doing some estimating. All right, and there we have it. Hope you guys don't make the same mistake I did, but you'll have success, hopefully, if you watch this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.